Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Poundland try on haul or Pep and Co, whatever we're calling it. So let's get cracking. Hiya, hope you're all okay. So this is another video that I'm trying to get up <laughs> between filming, going out, editing and trying to upload, right? It's a full-time job at the moment, okay. Um, which is having a good job because I'm off work just for a bit of a break. So, um, yes, so I went to, we've got a new Poundland in Bradford, okay. Um, and I went over there the other day. Have I even got any lippy on? A little bit left. I'll have to go freshen that up a bit. I don't feel like I've got any lipstick on at all. And that might be because I've just eaten my dinner. You know what I mean? Right? <laughs> so I've eaten it off, essentially. Anyway, I went over to Bradford and a pal of mine, um, Sadia at work, had told me there's new Poundland and she said it wasn't that good. And I said, have they got clothes in it? She said, yeah. So I thought, brilliant. Right, I'm going. Okay. And the clothing section in this new one on Foster Square in Bradford is half the shop. Okay, I had a great time. I'm going to go back if I need to take any of these back. Um, you know, I'm hoping I don't, but you know, just in case I do, I'm going to go back and have a look around the whole of the rest of the Poundland there because they had some decorations, Christmassy bits. And in all honesty, I need a bit of shopping as well. So I could do with like... Um, going back and getting myself other stuff. But the other day when I were there, um, I were purely looking for clothes. I really had such a nice time. So um, I picked up an old bag full of clothes. The lassie were looking at me like she, I'd lost the plot because I don't think she'd seen anybody buy just chunks of clothes from Poundland. But anyway, I'm really pleased with some of the stuff I've got, but I'll reserve full judgment till I've tried them on. You guys have seen them, okay. So, let's have a look at my bag full of goodies. Okie dokie. So, first up, I got this grey top. It's the most super soft top I've honestly ever felt. It's so lovely. So, it's a long sleeve grey top with this cut-out detail going all down. It's like a plait um, going down the arms on both sides. The arms are super skinny, look. Um, and then it's got a scoop or round neck at the front, slightly higher at the back, and a really long body with a curved hem um, sort of going up so it forms like a split at both sides. Um, this I bought in a medium and it were £9. Because this is the other thing that I've noticed about Poundland. A lot of the clothes have gone up in price. So, on the same day I went to Primark, got this cardi at Primark, just, uh, just to let you know that as well. But on the same day I went to Primark, and some of the clothes were almost the same price as Primark. So, unless I really liked them, I wasn't picking them up, because, um, yeah, some of them were more than Primark clothes. Anyway, I really liked this one, so I picked it up. I'm hoping it'll just be really cosy on, you know. It's a nice sort of charcoal grey colour with that sort of marl thing in it. But it was the softness of it that made me go for it. So, excited to try that one. What else did I get? I got a couple of dresses. Did I buy two dresses? Well, I got this one anyway. This was £12, which is comparable to Primark. So I picked up some dresses at Primark. Um, but I quite liked it. It's in this quite jazzy floral. Um, it's got a long sleeve with a gather and then it goes out to a frill. You know, it's gathered up with elastic, goes out to this frill. And then it goes down to the bodice bit here, to the waist, and then it's just frilled down. So it's just got a single sort of flared bottom bit. I'm hoping it fits me. I bought it in a large because... There were no comparison between sizes. This were another thing. Right, when I looked at the medium of this, it were minuscule. And then I looked at this one, and this looked like it would fit me. The extra large one didn't look like it were any different to this. So it were really odd, the sizes. But um, yeah, I decided to go for this one in a, um, in a large. But I didn't think it were bad for £12. It is just like polyester, you know. 
Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I hope it looks nice on. Thought it might be nice with like a burgundy, you know, if I can get a pair of burgundy tights or something. Which brings me to something else I did buy. Okay, so when I went out shopping, I looked around and looked around and looked around for a pair of burgundy pattern tights. Couldn't find them for love nor money, honestly. Not in the shops I went to anyway. But when I went into Poundland, they had this pair of leggings. Look at them. They're like a pair of tights. So they've got a pattern going down the leg, um, but a cuff bit at the bottom of the, of the ankle, and then a wide band round the waist, no seam down the front, um, and just like a pair of tights, but without the foot in them, which I were really pleased about. I bought them in a large, they were eight pounds, but I thought they'd probably last longer than a pair of tights. And this were as near to burgundy tights as I could get. So if you see what I mean, like those together, I sort of want to wear those underneath that. Do you know what I mean? And underneath a load of other stuff that I've got that I need a pair of burgundy tights, but can't find them. So yeah, very happy with those. Uh, if they'd have had slightly more red in them, I'd have liked them even more, but I'm not mad about the colour. You know, I'm happy with it. So um, yeah. I just thought I'd bob in at this point because I always forget to say it. If you would not mind subscribing, it would mean the absolute world to me. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And if I do, I'm having a big giveaway. So look out for that um, if I ever get there. Right, okay, I'll lend you back. What else did I? Oh, I bought this Christmas like dress slash nighty. Okay, so it's, I thought it was really cute. And this is super soft as well. I bought this in a large and it was seven pounds. Okie dokie. So it is like a dress style, but you could definitely wear it as a night dress. It's got long sleeves fitted in and um, it, it just goes straight down and flares out a bit. But I just loved all the pattern on it and I loved how soft it was. It's got little, why haven't I got my gigs on? Put your gigs on, you better see better, Kim. Okay, right. It's got little snowmen, ho, 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 Christmas trees, ginger men, candy canes. Are they gifts? Are they supposed to be gifts? Yes. Gifts and all sorts of stuff. Just loved it. It's on a black background. Like I say, it's super soft, very stretchy. It'd make a brilliant Christmas night. Eh? That's what I thought anyway. Might wear that on Christmas, you know sort of over sort of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day night. So I've got some festive on. Um, yeah, just loved it. Absolutely loved it. I'm sure if you, you know, if you wore it as like a dress, you might go under this, you know, right? As a dress, it might be actually quite nice. So got that one. They had loads of different ones. Absolutely loads. They had kiddies ones and baby things, adults, men's ladies, loads of Christmassy jumpers all sorts of things but um yeah i really like that one because i thought it a double like i say as a dress slash somebody's phoning me i'll be back hi guys i'm back right i was just talking to my daughter so yeah i think it's pretty versatile is what i'm saying put my gigs back on you don't need your gigs on when you're on the phone do you you know well unless you're jotting stuff down okay what else did i buy oh i bought this pair of leggings i just really liked them because they were like fluffy but like ridged as well. So it's like a needle cord, um, but super stretchy. Um, and it is just a pair of leggings, but I thought they were nice. I thought they'd go really well under other things. Yeah, that is the back. Um, uh, just for a bit of a difference to a normal legging. Okay, so I bought these in a 14 and these were eight pounds. I think they're gonna fit me. Please let them fit me. Yeah, they will. Okay. But they are just plain leggings, no pockets, no zips, no nothing, just um, a pair of leggings, but in this nice brushed sort of needle cord, really liked them. Thought they might go, um, in particular, with this dress I've bought, right, because this is my favourite thing, what I got. And I'm hoping it goes really well on me. I hope it looks okay, and I hope it'll do for Christmas Day. Okie dokie. So it's a sparkly dress. Look at it. It's super sparkly. I bought it in a size 14. It was £14, but it's absolutely lovely. 
I can imagine it's the sort of fabric that's going to click a little bit, you know, so you've got to be careful. But it has got a short sleeve fitted in, just a round neck, quite high sort of neck at the front, goes down and then it's got three frills coming off it. Perfect style for me. That's the sort of style I love. And I just loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Look at all the sparkles on it. So I thought plain leggings under this or plain tights might be a bit sort of clashy. They might not be, but anyway, I thought with these, that might look all right. You know, that sort of brushed with a bit of shine on it. And then the sparkly dress over the top. I'm super excited to try this on. This is like undoubtedly my favourite thing that I got because for the price as well, because I was looking around all over the place at all these sparkly things that they were super fitted and they just made me feel a bit like, yeah, they were clinging all over me to me. That is exactly the style that is just going to cling on me. Whereas this sort of flary out, I thought it'd be fantastic. If it works out for me, that's what I'll be wearing on Christmas Day. Super excited to try it. Or maybe even Christmas Eve, you know. But um, yeah, probably Christmas Eve. Uh, super excited about it. So those were all my things from Poundland. And I am dead excited to try them on. It's the first time I've had stuff from Poundland in ages that I've actually been excited to try them on. So um, yeah, good old Poundland. So what I'm going to do is go away, try them on. I'll insert the try-ons now. Okie dokie, right, mixed bag. I'm not overly fond on this dress. Uh, it's too high necked, yeah, and then a bit tighter. Well, it isn't tight, but it feels like, it don't feel nice. Yeah, it, I, I, it'd be okay. It'd be absolutely fine. I could see me wearing it, but I, I'm not going, wow. Do you know what I mean? I've got dresses that I really love that are super swishy and super nice. Um, and this is just, yeah, not one of them. I don't like this dress at all. Not at all. I'll show you the back though. Yeah, I just don't like it. I feel like it's very unpleasant fabric. It feels like it's clinging around the top. If it's, and I've no boobs, you know what I mean? I'm as flat as a blinking pancake, boob-wise. So, um, I don't know why it's clinging around the top. Maybe I needed to size up in it. But, like I say, there were hardly any size difference between this one and the extra large. So, don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, this is a no from me. The leggings on the other hand. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. Right, they're super high-waisted for a start. They're as comfy as anything, but I'm not worried that I'm gonna ladder them. You know, stick my boots on with these. You won't know that they're not tight. These are out and out keepers from me. I love them. I might go back and get some more, see if they've got any other designs. I don't think they did have, but honestly, would highly recommend these. These are super nice. These are nicer than knitted tights. They went on really easily. I love the look of them. I've got loads of stuff that would go over a pair of burgundy or sort of purpley tights, even though they're leggings. Definitely keeping these. What a bargain. I love them. Really, really love them. So I'm gonna keep, am I keeping these on? No, I'm going to try on, I'm going to take these off and try on some of the other leggings with the other things that I've got. Okay. Okay, throw my little nighty dress on. Um, <laughs> um, no. Right, as a nighty, fine. As a dress, no chance, no way, not ever. In a million years, it's too long to wear as like a dress. It is a nighty. Okay, being sold as a dress, all right. Um, yeah, as a nighty, it's okay. It's not even that <laughs> that exciting of a nighty. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm really sad about it. I just don't like it. It don't feel like 
the outside of it feels super soft the inside of it not so much you know um I just feel like a bag of rags <laughs> are you okay I just feel awful in it truly awful so this is going back I have got way way better nighties and sets of pajamas I don't need this one in my life I think it's not fun enough um for Christmas that's the thing it looks fun on the outside but when I look down here yeah it's drab drab is the word I would use it's very very drab I'm not I'm not interested in it this is not a bit of me at all okay it's going back all right this is going back as are the leggings these leggings are the weirdest pair of leggings I think I've ever pulled on in my life there is no stretch that way. All the stretch is this way. So lengthwise, this way, well, maybe there's a bit of stretch or maybe that's just because there's more fabric. It feels like when I'm bending my knees, it's tight across my knees. I don't have the fattest legs in the world. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, they're just there's no stretch going the way I want the stretch to go, which is around that way. When I was pulling them on, they were just like getting tighter and tighter on my legs. Um, and I realised that's because when I like when I go this way, right, when I try and bend my knee, it's just that there's no give. You would end up with knees in these at, within, you know, minutes. They're just awful. It's an awful pair of leggings. Yeah, I, give me my Primark ones. You know, three quid Primark ones any day of the week and twice on Sundays. I ain't keeping these. I'm going to keep them on to try my little dress and the top. But these are going back. The This is drab. Now I've got it on. I feel like that. Honestly, I feel like I'm just like, what's the point? That is how I feel in it. What is the point? Okay. Um, and these are just awful truly awful um i might if i had no the 90s um and i was desperate for a 90 i might keep it but i'm not so this is going back these are going back but i'm going to keep these on. sorry my camera just went full okay so yeah i don't know what i was saying i think i was just rambling on about how awful these leggings are but i am going to keep them on while i try on some more stuff okay don't mind this don't mind it at all you know it's okay. It's oversized enough that I don't feel like it's super clinging to my fattest bit. Um, these are very, very highly ridged, right, down the arms. But I actually quite like it, you know. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. It makes you feel like you're wearing a shoulder pad. Hang on, let me show you. Without actually wearing a shoulder pad because they're bumped up here. So it gives me more of a square shoulder actually like this one i'm stunned but i do actually like it i thought it were all going to be going down the toilet right after the leggings and nighty fiasco <laughs> okay but actually i quite like it oh my goodness good i'm pleased not a wasted shopping trip yeah i like it it's nice and cozy feels nice on nice and long so that you know i don't have to worry about it you know i could wear this with a pair of leggings while i'm doing my cleaning and stuff and won't worry about answering the door because it's covering all me nethers so very very pleased with it i like it i like it a lot okay i'm gonna try my sparkly dress on now i'm sure these are walking into knees these leggings but anyway we're trying the sparkly dress on wow it feels cold on wow oh the inside of this is like you know when you wear uh, like velvet the inside feels super cold that's what the inside of this feels like okay i don't mind it i actually don't mind it yeah i could imagine this with a nice jacket over the top to sort of bring it in a bit you know um, and yeah, dressed up with some sparkly jewellery, pair of nice shoes on. Um, I think it'd be nice. I do. I think it'd be nice. 
I don't like it with these. I really don't. These just feel awful on. And they're starting to bag at the front as well here. There, right, which is not a good look. I mean, this is not the best dress I've ever tried on in my life. But for a bit of fun on Christmas Eve, bit of sparkle, without it going completely out of my comfort zone, actually quite like it. I do quite like it. I think this might be a keeper for me. You know, just to wear on, um, on an occasion where I want a bit of sparkle. So yeah, I quite like this one. I'm really, really pleased I picked this up. Yes, I do like this. Okay, it has been a quite a mixed bag, hasn't it? Have I shown you the back? Let me show you the back. It's swishy. Yeah, it's just very cold on the inside. Very, very cold. Um, is that glitter coming off? No, it's not. Okay. I actually quite like this one. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag, but I'm impressed with quite a few of the pieces. You know, particularly those like burgundy leggings. Absolutely love those. So anyway, I'll land you back. Hiya, so what a mixed bag. <laughs> okay, what a mixed bag. Goodness me. Um, right, I'll let you know what I think. Although you pretty much know what I think. I don't mind the sparkly dress. Okay, it's not the most stylish thing in the world, but for a bit of fun that sticks with my style, which is a lot of these dresses, you know, these sort of flary out dresses and tops and things, um, I think it works. It'll work for me. And I'll be able to dress it up um, to make it look like I've made an effort on Christmas Eve, which I probably won't have done, but I'll try and pretend that I have, you know, um, to people passing by, okay, if I go out for a drink on Christmas Eve, actually, I'm going to meet my daughter on Christmas Eve, my youngest daughter, um, we're going out for food, so I may wear this to go out on that occasion and because that is a daytime going out um it'll actually be okay it's a bit of sparkle but it's through the day so it's not too overdressed this dress i hated it felt awful on felt cheap and nasty and I, it just had no sort of the fit of it for me just wasn't there and it didn't feel nice on so that's a no from me i'll drop it there i don't like the feel of it these, on the other hand, these leggings, absolutely love these. How much were they? Eight pounds. Right, I am I'm going to definitely, when I take that dress back, I am going to look in, and a couple of other bits, I'm going to look in Poundland and see whether they've got these in any other styles because they were just brilliant. They felt so much more comfortable than a pair of tights. Didn't feel like they were going to slide down, uh, but had the look of a pair of tights. So they're definite keepers from me. That's my favourite item that I bought. I'm out and out my favourite item. Right, <laughs> this nighty that I thought, right, would be okay. When I put it on, it was just the most drab and uninteresting thing. It felt like somebody had turned the lights off on Christmas rather than amped up the, the party. Let me show you a pair of socks I got from Primark. This is fun, right? This is fun. That, look at the difference. That's Christmas party. That's quite sinister, right? I am very drab. Now I've tried it on. No, I'm not doing that. No chance. Not even as a nighty. I don't like it enough. Put my socks back there. Okie dokie. Similarly, these leggings, the stretch, they've been cut the wrong way. Now, I know that in order to get the needle cord going down that way, um, it has to be that way. So, I don't honestly know what's gone on with them and why they're like that. Um, but the fabric stretches to me. There's loads of stretch going down the leg, but very little stretch going across the leg. So when you bend your knee, there's like, it just clings. Do you know what I mean? It clings around my calves. It, yeah, it's just, it, they're weird, but I don't like them. I'm not keeping them. But I like this top. I actually quite like that this detail over the shoulder, sorry, this is also inside out, is bumped up because it makes you feel like wearing like a shoulder pad. You know, 
right, which I'm really happy about. And it wasn't that expensive either. How much were this? Come on, Poundland, where's your tag? Here it is. Oh, it was £9, so it's not the cheapest thing. But still, I quite like it. I like it a lot. I like that this bumps up and makes my shoulders feel like I've got a bit of extra, like, definition. That's the word. Right, on my shoulders. So I think that's a keeper. So one or two really nice bits. Those burgundy leggings, if you like tights, but you don't like the fact that they slide down and you can end up meeting mid-thigh, you know, um, I would highly recommend those. Those leggings are brilliant, the burgundy ones, absolutely brilliant. We'll definitely be looking out for some other colourways in them because I just think they're great. Um, and they're going to last a lot longer than a pair of tights as well, you know, because they're not sort of the type of fabric that will ladder. So they're the big success of this haul, I think. Um, and my sparkly dress will be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!